How you doing today, friends, family, Facebook, YouTube? This is Ivan coming at you again today on the Sabbath day with another lesson, today's lesson, this morning's lesson, entitled The European Empire. The European Empire. And today we're going to be in the sealed portion. But before we begin, I want to give thanks and honor to the Most High, Ahia, His Son, Yeshua, Hamashiach, and also the Ruach HaKadosh. And I ask that the Most High bless this lesson this morning, today, on the Sabbath day. All right, now, like I said today, we are going to be in the sealed portion, the sealed portion, and we're going to be in chapter 31. So, Church of Christ, if you got your sealed portion, we're going to be in chapter 31. But before I begin, let's get our precepts out of the way. We're going to begin. Isaiah chapter 28, verses 9 through 11. That'll be King James Version Bible. Verse 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are winged from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little, for with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people. Now, our next precept, we're going to Psalms 119, Psalms 119, 104. Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore I hate every false way. Verse 128. Therefore I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right. And I hate every false way. Verse 134. Deliver me from the oppression of man. So will I keep die precepts. Now, let's go into the Book of Mormon, Doctrines and Covenants, Pearl of Great Price. And we are going to be in Doctrines and Covenants, chapter 42, verse 61. If thou shalt ask, thou shalt receive revelation upon revelation knowledge upon knowledge that thou mayest know the mysteries and the peaceful things that which bring joy, that which bring life eternal. So, when we read our Bible precept upon precept, the Most High, He gives us revelation upon revelation. When we read our Bible line upon line, the Most High gives us knowledge upon knowledge. All right? Now, we are done with our precepts. Like I said, we are going to be in the sealed portion. The sealed portion. Put these Bibles away a little bit, for a little bit. And we are going to be in chapter 31. <clears throat> going to be in chapter 31 and I want to read verses 1 through 20 chapter 31 and I will read verses 1 through 20 and I will read it line upon line precept upon precept Chapter 31. 
And we're going to read the header. The rise of the great Roman Empire and the explanation of the great beast by John and Revelation. The Roman Empire is one beast and the great European Empire and the United States are some of the other beasts described by John. The book of Revelation, the book of Revelation is expounded on extensively. All right? Verse number one. And now it is convenient at this point in my abridgment that I introduce the next generation the next great nation that arose after the nation of the Greeks. And this great nation is the Roman Empire, even that same nation that ruled most of the earth in the present day of my fathers on the other continent of the earth, even that continent out of which traveled my fathers talking about the Middle East, okay? That's the continent on the other side of the earth. Verse number two. And about this present time, the Roman Empire shall be wounded extensively, exceedingly, Salakia, because of its great sins before the Lord, even so much <clears throat> that it shall be destroyed by a deadly wound, according to the words of John that are written in the Bible which ye have already among you. We, we do have the Bible among us right now. Matter of fact, I just read some precepts out of the Bible, okay? Verse three, but from its wounds, the rise of another nation, Salakia, the rise of another great nation shall come to pass. And this nation shall be known as the great European Empire. This great nation shall be known as the great European Empire. And this is going to be the last great nation in the last days, okay? And from that great empire, Satan shall make his final stand against the saints of God. Satan is going to do what? Satan shall make his final stand against the saints of God. Who? church of Christ who are the saints of God well let's go to Psalms Psalms 148 verse 14 Psalms 148 verse 14 he also exalted the horn of his people the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. So, the saints, the saints are the children of Israel. Okay? Now remember, Satan shall make his final stand against the saints of God. He's going to make his final stand on the children of Israel in the last days. Okay? Even before the Lord cometh again in his glory to claim that which have been placed in his power by the Father. Verse 4. <clears throat> For Satan shall cause to be established a powerful nation amongst the Gentiles that shall strike fear, that shall strike fear in all the other nations of the world. And with this great nation, Satan shall begin to rule and reign over his own dominion without the restrictions, without the, the, without the restrictions that were placed on him by the Father in the beginning. Satan, he shall rule over the European Empire. Now, verse 4, I got a precept with chapter 85. Chapter 85, verse 22 and 23. Okay. We're 
We're going to start at verse 22. And these are not the only ones who shall suffer at the hands of the rich. But there shall be many poor who shall suffer in their poverty in the other nations of the European Empire. And these shall be desirous to come unto, his, unto this land and partake of the freedom that shall be promised to them. Verse 23. But they shall sign over their lives to the rich and subject themselves to indenturement, which shall endure for many of the good years of their lives. And these who are thus indentured shall also be bought and sold as the property of the rich. Now, what we're talking about is the slave trade here in America that we're going to be bought and sold, okay? Now, they're saying indenturement. No, we were bought and sold as slaves here in America by the European Empire, okay? Who shall justify their abuse and wickedness by declaring that they are the more righteous lot of the creations of God because of their knowledge and their seemingly endless blessings from God. And thus it shall be because Satan, Satan is their God. Now, Church of Christ, you go back to verse 22 and we're talking about the European Empire. We're talking about Satan is the God of the European Empire. Now, this was chapter 85. And I just read verse 22 and 23. Now, let's go back to chapter 31. Chapter 31. And we're at verse number 5. And this shall be the final opportunity of Satan to show unto the children of God that his plan can bring happiness and joy to those who follow him and give him glory that he seeketh. And this great nation shall be known as the United States. For they shall be united in their worship, Salakia. For they shall be united in their desire to worship Satan and his image. And this because of their works. Now we're going to preach up verse 5 with Revelation chapter 13. Revelations chapter 13, and we're going to read verses 11 through 15. Verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spoke as a dragon. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him. And caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Verse 14. And deceiveth them, and deceiveth them, and deceiveth them. The European nation, okay? The European empire. He's deceiving them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they shall make an image to the beast, that they should make an image to the beast, that they, the European Empire, that they should make an image empire they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live and he had power to give life unto this image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed The 
European Empire, they have an image of the beast. And if the other nations don't worship that image, they will kill them. Okay? They will kill them. Verse 6. And unknowingly, they shall be led to believe that Satan is their God, even the very eternal Father. And they shall support and worship his image and cause all other nations who do not support and worship the image of Satan to be condemned or destroyed. Okay? Showed you the image of the beast. The whole world is worshiping the image of the beast. Okay? Now. Let y'all read this before I read it, okay? I typed in on Google countries that are forced into Christianity and this is what came up according to the United States Commission on Eternal Religious Freedoms 22 to 2020 report Christians in Burma China India Iran Nigeria North Korea Pakistan Russia Saudi Arabia Syria and Vietnam are persecuted. These countries are labeled countries of particular concern by the United States. Why is that? Why is the United States concerned about these other countries? Well, remember, to get these other nations to worship, to worship the beast. The United States is making it their interest that the rest of the world worship the beast. Okay? And if you don't worship this white Jesus, this white European image of Jesus, they will kill you. Alright? They will kill you. And we got that off Google. You just read that, okay? And also, this sealed portion is backing up everything that I just showed you. Right? Verse 7. And now, all these things shall come to pass according to the words of the brother of Jerry. And I shall hereafter give unto you an abridgment of how these things shall come to pass. Nevertheless, it hath been commanded me by the Spirit to give unto you the words of John. The words of John which are written in the book of the Jews. Now remember, the book of Revelation is, is in the book of the Jews, okay? The book of the Jews. This is not a book of the European Empire. It's the book of the Jews. For the words of John are the final words of this book. The words of John will be the last chapter, the book of Revelations in the Bible, okay? And shall give unto the children of men all the knowledge that they shall need in order that they might understand that which Satan hath done to deceive them and led them away from the words of Christ and into captivity being bound by the chains of Satan now verse 7 we want to preach up that with 1st Nephi chapter 13 1 through 6 we're going to be in our second stick today alright 1st Nephi chapter 13 and we're going to read verses 1 through 6 and it came to pass that the angel spake unto me, saying, Look. And I looked, and beheld many nations and kingdoms. 
And the angel said unto me, What beholdest thou? And I said, I behold many nations and kingdoms. And he said unto me, These are the nations and kingdoms of the Gentiles. And it came to pass that I saw among the nations of the Gentiles the formation of a great church, of a great church. And the angel said unto me, Behold, the foundation of a church which is the most abominable, abominable above all other churches, which slayeth the saints of God, which slayeth the saints of God. Remember, the saints of God are the children of Israel, okay? Yea, and tortured them, and bindeth them down, and yoketh them with the yoke of iron, and bringeth them down into captivity. And it came to pass that I beheld this great and abominable church, and I saw, and I saw the devil, that he was the founder of it. Now, let's get some more images here. We got some abominable churches here. We got the Baptist religion. We got the Pentecostal religion. We got the Mormon religion. We have the Jehovah's Witness religion. And we also have the Seven Day Adventist religion. Look. Look, ladies and gentlemen. Look, Church of Christ. Look, Jews and Gentiles. We all have European men. European men co-founders of these religions. Now remember, Satan is the god of the European empire. So Satan, Satan trained these men to get you into different religions of the world. Satan is very clever. He separated us used the Gentiles. He used the European nations to separate us into different religions, to have us fight and to be different amongst each other, okay? Satan's very clever. Remember, he deceived the whole world. So, you got to catch this dirty-ass devil, okay? Lucifer. Very clever. Verse 8. And the words of the brother of Jared shall show unto the elect. And the words of the brother of Jared shall show unto the elect. Now, who are the elect? We want to go to Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 45, verse number 4. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, and Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name, I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. Now, let's go back to verse 8. Remember, Jacob, Jacob had his name changed to Israel, Israel, we got 12 tribes. 12 tribes of Israel, okay? And they are the elect. Verse 8. And the words of the brother of Gerald shall show unto the elect the way in which Satan rewarded those who follow his plan and keep his covenants. And he rewarded them with peace and carnal security as it hath been explained unto you previously in this record. And all of the prophets of God. And all of the prophets of God. Now the Most High, he's got prophets. Now, where do these prophets come from? Let's go to Amos chapter 2, verse 11. Amos chapter 2, verse 11. And I 
raise up your sons for prophets, and of your young men for Nazarites. Is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel, saith the Lord? So the prophets are raised. The prophets are raised by the Most High, Ahiah, by the children of Israel. The prophets are only Israelites from the twelve tribes, okay? Now, let's go back to verse 9. And all of the prophets of God are Israelites, okay? Have seen this time when Satan shall be released by the Father and given power over his own dominions without the restrictions that were placed upon him from the beginning. Verse 10. For Lucifer, who Lucifer have complained unto the Father that the presentation of his plan and its incorporation into mortality cannot take a full effect nor can it be given the proper chance so that the children of God can make their fair choice of which plan is the best and most righteous for all if he is not allowed to give unto them some indication, an example of the eternal laws that have been established for their happiness. Verse 11. Therefore, the Father have chosen a time when peace shall be taken from the earth for the last time, and Lucifer, and Lucifer shall have power over his own dominions, and at this time the plan of Lucifer shall be shown in all Salakia. The plan of Lucifer shall be shown in its full effect unto the children of God, whether they are alive in mortality or alive according to the manner of the spirit and, and dimensions of the spirit world, yea, all the children of God shall witness these last days. All the children of God shall witness these last days. And see the plan of Lucifer in its glory, and after it have failed miserably, then shall everybody salak you. Let me start over. And after it have failed miserably, then shall every knee bow and every tongue confess that the plan of salvation which was given unto us by the Father is the only plan that is possible whereby we might have eternal peace and happiness, even that eternal joy that the Father hath promised unto all of us in the beginning. for sending me a text. I'm too loud in here. It's 4.30 in the morning. I'm sorry. Verse number 13. And since all the prophets of God, remember Amos chapter 2 verse 11, all the prophets come through the children of Israel, okay, have seen these last days and these prophets know the will of God concerning them, yea, because they have known these things. Many of them have touched upon them in their writings, which are contained in the holy scriptures that are upon the earth in the last days. They are contained where? In the holy scriptures that are upon the earth in the last days. Now remember, this is the book of the Jews. The history book of the Jews. Now, I gotta hurry up. I'm about 29 more. Verse 14. Nevertheless, the Lord hath not permitted any of them to be revealed to the children of men. The entire truth regarding these things. So the Most High, Ahia. He didn't put all the truth in the Bible. He had to hide some things, okay? And there's other books that the Most High hid some things in. All right? Now let's go to Proverbs chapter 25, verses 2. I'm going to precept that. Proverbs chapter 25 verse number 2. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing. It's the glory of God to hide things. Okay, the most high he likes to hide things, conceal it. 
But the honor of kings is to search out a matter. Okay? Now, me, being a king that I am, I had to search out a matter. I got about 20 books already because I wanted to know. I wanted to increase my knowledge. And increasing my knowledge, I found out that the Most High hid a lot of things. By me increasing my knowledge, I came across this book here. One of my customers gave me the Book of Mormon. Gave me the Book of Mormon. I almost rejected it. I let it sit in my car for about a month before I before I opened it up. Matter of fact, Big Judah, he was the first one to bring it out. And I was like, dang, I got that book outside of my truck. Maybe it's time for me to start reading the book. So, this is where I'm at. I'm here before you right now, okay? Verse number 14, let's start over here. Nevertheless, the Lord have not permitted any of them to be revealed unto the children of men the entire truth regarding these things. But some of them have been slacking, but some of them have revealed many things by way of symbolism and allegory, which was commanded of them by the Lord. So that the children of men would be inspired to seek the meaning of these things from him, or in other words, from his Holy Spirit. Now, verse 15, you want to pay attention to verse number 15, okay? And he who shall be the bearer of Christ, even he who shall bring forth the sealed portion of this record into the world. That's what I'm doing right now. Church of Christ, one nation, one power is bringing forth the sealed portion of this record unto the world. Okay? Pay attention, world. Pay attention, European Empire. Shall have the power to discern all the symbol, symbolism and the allegory that have been given unto the children of men by the prophets of old. And those things that are not revealed in the portion of this record that is sealed shall be revealed through him. And by the power of the Spirit, he shall discern all things which have been written. Now, by the Spirit of the Most High, High, we shall be able to discern all things which have been written. Which means, if there's been some scriptures taken out of the Bible, we will know. If there's been some scriptures taken out of the Book of Mormon, we will know. Okay? There's going to be some things not adding up right. And by the Spirit, we, be, we, we will be able to catch on to these things. Alright? And I've caught on to a plenty, plenty of things while I've been reading. All right, now, 436, verse 16. Nevertheless, I, Moroni, have been commanded to explain unto you the words of John that pertain to the great Roman Empire and also that great nation that shall rise up because of the Romans, even the great European Empire and also the last great nation that shall rise up above all other nations on the earth in the last days. So right now, Moroni, he's letting us know that this European nation is going to be the last great nation to rise up above all other nations in the last days. And we're seeing that right now. Okay? Like I said earlier, if you ain't bowing down to the image of the beast, the European nation will kill you. Okay? And they got all these other countries right now being watched. And if they're not bound down to that image, they go to war with them. They kill them. All right? Now, verse number 17. And this, and this last nation shall be the seat of Satan. This nation, the European nation, shall be the seat of Satan. Okay? Where he shall sit and rule and reign throughout the world. Even in the final stages of his power and dominion. Now, verse 17, we want to preach up that with Isaiah chapter 14. 
Isaiah chapter 14, verses 12 through 14. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will. I will also upon the mount of the congregation. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north, in the sides of the north, North America, the great European nation, okay? I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. I will be like the most high. Now, this is coming from Lucifer. Verse 18. And they who shall bring these things forth unto the world shall be among those of this last nation. Now, we're bringing it out, Church of Christ. We are among those of this last nation. We live here in the United States of America. And the Church of Christ, one nation, one power, is bringing these things out. And we're showing the nations breaking down, breaking down the Bible, breaking, breaking down the Book of Mormon, precept upon precept, line upon line, breaking down this here sealed portion that's been sealed for a long time, and also the sealed Book of Mormon. And the first of these last two prophets of God in the last days shall be at the beginning of this nation, and the last shall be near the end thereof, or at the time when the words of the Lord shall be fulfilled pertaining unto the time when the work of the Father shall be commenced, and gathering the saints, and doing what? And gathering the saints, and gathering the saints from among the wicked before the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Now, where? Where is he going to gather the saints? Where? Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 14. We're going to precept that. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 14. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord. And I will turn away your captivity. And I will gather you from all nations and from all the places whither I have driven you, saith the Lord. And I will bring you again unto the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. Church of Christ, one nation, one power. To the world, the slave trade was powerful. The Most High scattered us to the four corners of the world. We're everywhere. The Israelites are everywhere. Every land. Raising us up, raising us up now to go out into the world and to preach this word to every creature, to every nation upon this earth. Now, verse 19. For unto the saints of God, the day of the Lord shall not be dreadful, but shall be that day for which they have waited in patience. But unto the wicked, which are all those who worship the beast. But unto the wicked, which are all those who worship the beast. Who is Lucifer. The day of the Lord shall indeed be great and terrible. The day of the Lord shall indeed be great and terrible. For you. Verse 20 in the last verse. And then shall the words of John be understood and fulfilled. Which he wrote saying. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lighted with his glory. Let's continue. Let's, let's continue going down. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is falling. Babylon the great is falling. Is falling. 
and has become the inhabitant of devil and the hold of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Come out of her, my people. Come out of her, my people. All 12 tribes of Israel. All 12 tribes of Israel. Come out of her. Come out of her, my people. That ye be not partakers of her sin. And that ye receive not of her plagues. That'll be that COVID-19 that's going around right now. You know, you got a whole lot of people dying in church. You got a lot of pastors catching that COVID-19. Dying. Both black and white. Okay? They in the church of the devil. Back in 1st Nephi chapter 13. 1 through 6. Remember, the devil is the founder of all these churches on the earth. Right? But you got people still in there. So the Most High is taking them out. He's taking them out right now, okay? For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God have remembered her iniquities. And then shall the saints of God lift up their voice unto the Lord. And the voice of all the holy prophets shall cry unto the Lord, saying, Reward her, even as she rewarded us, and double unto her double according to her works. And the cup which she hath filled, filled even to her double, as she hath done unto us. So most high, a higher. Destroy this nation, this nation called America. Destroy this land. Give them double. Give them double like they gave unto us. This was the worst 528 years of our lives. Now, give them double. If they don't repent, if they don't repent of the sins of their forefathers, get baptized and keep the commandments of the Most High, I ask you, Most High, give them double. Now, this was chapter 31 in the sealed portion. And I read 1 through 22. Church of Christ, one nation, one power. Jews and Gentiles. Hopefully, you enjoyed chapter 31 to the European nation, European empire. Go out and get, and get the sealed portion, okay? Go out and get the sealed portion, all right? Now, there was something I wanted to read before I end this. 43 minutes. I typed in on online and I wanted to know how many Europeans live in the United States, okay? Now, it's, it's highlighted in yellow. Let you guys read it for a second. Here. All right? Now, in 2016, about 4.8 million Europeans live in the United States. According for 11% of the roughly 44 million U.S. immigrants, down from 75% 75, 75 in 1960. Now, this was, this number was taken in 2016, so there's got to be more than 4.8 million Europeans right now living in the United States, all right? But I just want to use that number. Me, I only got like 350 subscribers on my channel. How can I reach 4.8 million Europeans in the United States and let them know that Satan is their God? How can I do it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, like and share this video with your friends and your families and to the European nation, like I said. Repent of the sins of your forefathers, get baptized, and keep the law, statute, and commandments of the
the Bible, the book of the Jews. All right, you guys take care and have a nice and happy Sabbath day.